Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to the news. Sheikh Gumi tells President Tinibu that instead of taxing Nigerians, he should go ahead and probe Buhari's former appointees for them to vomit all what they have stolen. He should go and probe them instead of taxing millions of Nigerians to pay for what they do not buy. Why not go and probe Buhari's former appointees, the corrupt ones that have stolen billions and millions of money? They should vomit what they have stolen. This is coming from Sheikh Ahmed Gumi. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. An Islamic scholar, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, has stated that uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu must probe everyone who, those that worked with the former president, yes, those of his appointees that worked under uh, the former president, Mohamed Buhari, that they have to come and vomit what they have stolen. They have to vomit everything, though, because at this point, Tinibu cannot kill Nigerians now because he's taxing them and the tax is too much on them. How can they pay for what they do not buy? Now, the cleric also claimed that if the Nigerian government failed to negotiate with bandits, then this Boko Haram terrorist will soon hijack them. Now, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, as we know, you know, is kind of um, one of the, uh, he negotiates with these terrorists. Now he has said it that, see, if we want to end this insecurity that is going on in Nigeria, we have to call these terrorists so, to a round table. We have to negotiate with them. We have to discuss with them. Now, according to Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, he had made it known that, you know, he made this known during an interview session with the Vanguard newspaper, and in that there was an ongoing negotiation between our Nigerian government and the terrorists. And he also heard that there were some contacts made with these bandits, which he said he wasn't a part of it. Though. But although Gumi went ahead to justify that, while this negotiation is the best way to end the insistent, you know, terrorist attacks in the country, it is the best way. Our Nigerian government has to negotiate with these terrorists. He said, you cannot rule out the rule of the military. In fact, even if you are negotiating, you will not be doing it from a standpoint of weakness. Oh. You are the military, the Nigerian military, they still have a great role to play. But the military alone, they cannot do it now. Because this issue of the bandits, the terrorists, it's a social political issue. And the military, they do not solve political problems. So we have to bring this matter to a round table. We have to discuss it at a round table. Also, nobody can tell us that the bandits do not want to sit at the round table. They want to sit there. They want to have a seat. And then Gumi made it known that at some point, he called them, you know, they came to him and they told him about their grievances. You know, they told him about everything. They expressed their grievances about the displacement, about the killings, about the bombardment, as well as the failure of an amnesty program, according to Sheikh Ahmed Gumi. But he made it known that if this should continue like this, hey, then the Boko Haram, they will come and hijack these terrorists. And recently, the Boko Haram ambushed some Nigerian army and killed many of them. They killed many of them. So he said, if the government does not bring these terrorists together and have a discussion with them then they will join hands with the Boko Haram and then they will finish this country off so he has advised our Nigerian government he has advised Tinibu's government that they should come up with a strong committee that will look into the problems we are facing in this country now all the stakeholders would be on the table and they will iron out the issue they want to bring a lasting solution you know to this issue of insecurity that we are facing in the country now he said, you see, all this insecurity, it is not a, uh, it is not a political problem. It is not something that mil the military alone can solve. The federal government, they have to be involved. He made it known that when Buhari came in as president, he made a proposal to him to draw a red line and close his eyes to what happened.
had happened in the past, you know. But then at some point that, you see, Nigeria now is broke. Nigeria is broke. Buhari said he wants to come and fight corruption. But his corruption war failed. He failed. Now, Tinibu should have courage oh, to continue this fight of the corruption. Oh. He has to fight against corruption. And we know that now, Nigeria is broke. The past governments, they have enriched themselves. Yes, they enrich themselves. Now they have to vomit what they have stolen. They have to vomit everything they have eaten. Because Nigeria is broke. And instead of taxing common Nigerians to raise funds to run government, let the stolen money be returned. And let us, you know, give them an appropriate punishment. I think this is what Tinibu should do, he added. Well, my country people, this uh, very strong warning is coming from no other person than uh, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, who has advised President Tinibu that, uh, please, oh, instead of taxing millions of Nigerians, giving them heavy tax, he should go and run after Buhari's aid. But, uh, you know, recently... Uh, okay, not recently, a few weeks back, when um, Tinibu went to London to meet uh, Buhari, uh, Buhari told him that he doesn't want to be disturbed, though. He sh they should not disturb him with probe. You know, people have been calling for the probe of Buhari's appointees, Buhari's aide, all the people that worked under him. But, you see, when Tinibu went to London, Tinibu even assured Buhari that, see, he won't be probed, even his aides these appointees they won't be probed also so how is this going to be possible because we know that uh, the former president Mohamed Buhari is still under you know immunity that they cannot touch him now he's untouchable so how will it be possible so my country people what are your thoughts on this however Nigerians have reacted well so Buhari himself is above probing or is he still under immunity this is a correct talk. Oh. It means that this man is intelligent. Well, I thought you said Buhari's administration was a corrupt free government. I thought you so much loved the Fulani method of politicians. Unfortunately, you cannot close the shop to start chasing thieves. You are all, he's saying all this because Tinibu said he will not negotiate with bandits and terrorists. Bawa is already in detention. Don't worry. He will soon mention their names, including those that are collecting money on the behalf of the bandits. This is a Buhari totem government. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.